Greetings everyone. My name is Fulya Çelikel Sancı, aka Dr. Synth Lady. Welcome to my studio. I work as a product manager for KV331 Audio. Today I would like to introduce to you our brand new synthesizer app for iOS, Synthmaster 2. Synthmaster 2 works as a standalone app or as a plugin within any of the major DAWs that you might be using. Right now, I'm actually running it within Cubasis. It's a direct port of our same award-winning desktop app. Synthmaster 2 supports the native resolutions of various iPad devices. User interfaces are provided for 9.7 inch, 11 inch and 12.9 inch iPads. We have four different scans. Separate interfaces are provided for the audio unit plugin as well. So it's going to rescale itself when you're running within a doll. Synthmaster 2 comes with a thousand factory presets. These are designed by world-class sound designers. Some names I can cite are Big Tone, Nori Ubukata, Nat Life, and Yumi Yolo. Thanks to the comprehensive preset browsing features, you can easily filter presets by author name, by bank name, instrument type. There is also an IAP shop which lets you purchase additional sounds such as the desktop presets upgrade which gives you another thousand or any of our 32 Synthmaster expansion banks. The sound engine is actually the most remarkable feature of Synthmaster 2. At the heart of Synthmaster, there is our powerful core which consists of four oscillators in two layers, modulators and filters, while designing your sounds, you can easily import wave files into Synthmaster. Synthmaster can categorize those into waveforms, wave tables, or multi samples and import them accordingly. All you need to do is drag and drop. Uh, once the sound is generated by the oscillators, it goes through Synthmaster filters, which can operate in six different categories. We have digital, virtual analog, leather, diode leather, state variable, and byte filters. Custom distortion can be applied before or after the filters as well. Synthmaster features a comprehensive modulation architecture with a wide range of modulation sources. We do have ADSR envelopes, four of these, multi-segmented envelopes, again for four LFOs, these are all per layer. Besides, we have four sequencers and four key scalers. There is real-time visual feedback that lets you see how modulation sources and targets are changing. This is very helpful when designing sounds with Synthmaster. You can easily create new modulations by dragging and dropping a modulation source onto a knob or onto a slider control. You can easily see which controls are modulated by a modulation source. Either click on that source or you are going to see that controls are being modulated by a source are going to display modulation amounts. We also have a comprehensive arpeggiator sequencer which goes up to 32 steps. Each of the two layers in Synthmaster has five insert effect slots. 13 different types of effects can be instantiated in any of these slots. There are also two global effect sand buses in case you would like to send the same effects to, for example, both layers. These can be used to create more complex effect routes. As you see, Synthmaster 2 is a powerhouse synth and it's running on iOS with no compromises of its features. Grab it now on Apple App Store for only $14.99 as an introductory price. It will be a little bit more expensive after September the 1st, but still affordable though, $24.99. Enjoy making music with Synthmaster.